Hello everyone, Harvey from Elixirnode here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use FTP on your Minecraft server. So, FTP is a way to connect to your Minecraft server files externally, so I'm going to be showing you how you can use our file manager and how to connect your files using FileZilla. So I'm already on the file manager here in the game panel and as you can see I have all my worlds and other files like that. And if I want to edit one of the files I can just click on it and I can just edit this Euler. It's already on true because my server's working. But if I wanted to change the file type I could go through all of these. We have all these extensions that you can change the file types into. I can also create folders, upload files or create new files. I can also give permissions or archive files and that's just what you can do in the file manager in Elixir node. But you're also here to know how to connect to the FTP. And we're going to be using FileZilla which you can install from FileZillaProject.org which will be this website. And this is going to be linked down below for you to download so you can just click it and go on there now. So pause the video now to go download that if you need to. But we're going to head on to FileZilla now. And I've got FileZilla up here, and as you can see on the left, we have our local files, which is how you're going to get the world, which I want to do, onto there, or any other file. And on the right, this is where your server files are going to be, so we can just drag it over, as I just said. And on the bottom, it's going to be all of the file transfers for your Minecraft server. And you'll see this in action in a bit when I've put files in. So to connect to your server, what you need to do is you need to go back to the game panel and head to the settings page here. You can see we've got SFTP details right here. Click on this server address here, which will automatically copy it as you can see. And we're gonna head over to FileZilla again and put that into the host section. And then we're gonna do the same for the username here, which I've got. It's gonna be completely different for you. So go into your settings and do that for yourself. And then next you need to enter the password to your FTP, which will be the exact same password as your game panel password. This might not necessarily be your client area password, but it's the game panel password. And then finally, on the port, you need to decipher whether it's SFTP or FTP. On my server, we use SFTP, so we're going to enter the port of 22. And that's shown here, as you can see, by the SFTP details on the settings page. And if you're using FTP, you need to put the port of 21. And then once you've done that, you need to click Quick Connect. It will connect to your server. And as you can see, it's connected here for me, and it's on the right-hand side. And if you want to import a file or a folder or something into your Minecraft server files, which are all here, what you need to do is you need to find the file, which I want to import this Skywars world, which I've got, which I want to put onto my Minecraft server, and I'll drag it over and drop it into there. And as you can see at the bottom, all the files are starting to transfer, and they're doing it quite quickly. And you can see in this tab, there's the queued files, which is all the files that are going to be transported. All the failed transfers in this part, which is going to be if there's anything wrong with it. And all the successful transfers in this part when it's done. And now the files have all finished because you can see all the successful transfers are finished and there's no none in the queued files. Uh, and the Skywars folder is in there. What you need to do is you need to head over to server and click disconnect or do control D and then close FileZilla. And now I'm back onto Google, uh, I'm going to go onto the file manager, and as you can see it's now updated with my Skywars folder with everything in it. And now I can do whatever I like with these files. And that's it, that's how you connect to your server using FTP, and if you have any questions, there'll be a link in the description where you can contact us on our support page. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.